welcome to 21st century uh yes you probably already see there's ghost recon again on the screen and you're thinking what what the hell why and yes it's still in, in regards to 2080 and it's also in regards to some people some people there is a thing that's actually it's kind of true it's called the cunningham's law as wikipedia says uh, the Cunningham Law states, the best way to get the right answer on the internet is not to ask a question, it's to pose the wrong answer. And apparently, I did a mistake. On my previous bench, on the big reveal, when I was actually benching everything I could and maxing out, apparently the breakpoint wasn't maxed out. Uh, by my mistake, I actually set it on Ultra, because in my mind, Ultra is still like, kind of, you know, the... The highest setting you can go but I was politely pointed out that for breakpoint there's also an ultimate setting and I was like wait what and so I obviously went in just to check and lo and behold there is actually below the ultra there's an ultimate setting so I was a lot of people well not a lot of people to be honest only one person was like hey I mean I thought well could you please and I was like sure my mistake because suddenly there is a setting above ultra which literally like it doesn't do anything i was actually literally convinced that this setting will unlock the rtx and ray tracing and guess what it didn't so obviously we're gonna bench it first see how it goes and my expectations is considering how monster this card actually is that we will not really get too much difference. So let's run a bench and look at the, this missed opportunity of providing correct information to the masses. And while the bench is actually preparing to run, obviously there's uh, much more things for this uh, bench to prepare itself, I found a terrible problem. I'm actually running out of games to test. See, when it comes to 980, it's kind of easy to find a game to test because it's kind of old uh, and you like it and or something you really want to play. When you come with, with, with a card that actually can run everything, it, it kind of loses the point. See, in comparison with 980, there's nothing we cannot run. And here we are, so hundreds, high 90s, again, exactly as on ultra settings. Let's take a look. I mean, I, I, I'm not seeing anything, you know, like not working or, or stuttering. This is just how it is. This is just one of the things. I mean, literally, this. I don't know. People like to nitpick apparently more than I do, but in such cases. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean. I could understand the frustration if I would actually get uh, a 670, for instance, right? And, and you would want to see how, well, how, basically how the GPU dies when it's being overstressed. I can understand that one, but to to see basically the results from insanely more powerful card, I guess it, it does make sense. I mean, if, if you have a super car, you want to push it to the limit instead of just right in the first gear right right anyway so as an apology to myself apparently and because I failed myself again which is something I'm completely used to uh, I actually figured out that I'll do this ultimate ultimatum ultimatum bench and as a horizon zero dawn as well because well that game was running pretty sweet on 980 actually despite well it is a console port so what do you expect but when it was maxed out there was some frame drops some stutters not really all the way 60 so i think we definitely need to take a look at that and now about this breakpoint stuff as you can see we are already way above the previous number what is the number for 980 let me check there's a piece of paper somewhere around here it's 7740 so we are again we are way above so we are at 14,000 there we are I mean come on guys what would 
15,000. We are already above 100% more. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What what, what you think is gonna happen? 16,000. Exactly. Even, uh, even even more. Too close to 17,000. Oh my, oh my goodness. There you go. 17,000. In terms of frames rendered. I don't know, guys. What what you think would happen? with this card of course it's gonna work and it's gonna run we actually have even more <laughs> we have more frames on ultimate <laughs> settings than on ultra ultra was on 100 you can literally look at the video and the ultimatum is actually 105 and the frame score is higher i mean i don't i don't, I don't know what you guys think would would actually happen it's nice that you pointed it out but yeah ultimate Everything is ultimate. I'm sorry. Well, uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe now I actually see the point. The person actually was expecting better results and he said you have to stress the card. If you don't stress the card, you will not get higher score. Probably that was the inside knowledge of the person who actually noticed this amazing mistake. And that is actually pretty interesting. Because nothing on my setup has changed. Hmm. Oh well. Apparently I'm getting too too surprised about every little thingy that actually happens here. Anyway, let's see how the real world looks like and feels like. Who knows, maybe we will finally see how smokes is supposed to look like. Maybe the treetops will not be repurposed. 86, 84 frames. Okay, 80. I don't know. I, I honestly do not know what, what what do you guys expect of this. This, this card will run it. The, the, I, again, this is not like a lower tier card where we, we, we need to kind of like, you know, be very careful and try to not blow it up. This card obviously can take a beating. Okay, I think it's time for us to see how the things will actually work. Show me the smokes. The smoke looks still as shit as before. Yeah, I mean, that's, in my opinion, kind of expected, that uh, the drone smoke and it's gonna be as it is. A uh, bit more particle dust effect, I must say. But is it worth to play this game on ultimatum? Hmm... I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. If you think it is because your hardware is able to run it, I mean, technically the answer should be yes at the same time. I don't know. Leave your comments and your thoughts below. And let's take a look at Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, basically just a benchmark, everything maxed out. And a little segment of play. And that's it. So, yeah. Again, thanks for pointing out my big mistake. And as you can see, everything's working just fine. So let's go there. So here we are with the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and the first thing I noticed was about half an hour waiting time until the game actually optimized itself uh, based on the hardware and if you could actually see up here it's actually using 12 gigs of RAM right now while it was optimizing the game it was using 15.5 and I have no idea how the windows actually didn't crash uh, so when it comes to settings obviously we are gonna go with unlocked well unlimited FPS and we are but it's hitting 900 in the thingy so that's fine ultimate quality i'm gonna run the bench as usual and we're gonna see how it actually goes well after the bench but i think the results will be pretty similar give or take because again this is this is very very powerful card but it needs to be done also this is rather new game some people say there's the the lags and the stutters but hey it's been a while let's give it a shot right and I kind of really enjoy seeing that this loading bar is actually going much faster than the previous optimization bar, but hey. So let's see how it goes. I 
And I think the next one, we actually will try the Warzone in 4040p. Because this is kind of like the, the closest we can get. There's no point of testing it in full HD. Uh, it's not going to be as smooth in 4K, but 2K? That might actually be pretty decent to, to take a look. Of course, I'm going to, well, not play with... Like real people, because that would be a really short test then. But to get a general idea, I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, so the 980 actually doing this test, I think it was barely pushing out about 30 frames. And this game is getting solid 90, well, 70 to 90, let's be honest, it's not like just one frame. And it's actually using so 14 gigs of RAM and 7.6 gigs of video memory yeah I started here and there it's fully boosted mm. I don't know maybe I should apply for the game companies to actually do their quality testing because honestly this this is not okay considering this is a console port that upset a lot of PlayStation 4 players seeing that the console exclusive is coming to PC and a lot of PC players not being happy that, you know, the game was stuttering and not optimized at all. I mean, this is a console version. There shouldn't be any issues running it on a PC. Ooh, there was a frame drop to 24. Jesus Christ, what is happening here? Yeah, it looks like the game is still not patched to the level. But again, this is synthetic benchmark. And even when I was doing these benches with 980, the real world gaming didn't actually have this issue, so I'm a bit curious. I think this is just the game engine trying to convey the data to an actual external GPU and something somewhere is hicking up. Because it's clearly not the system that's not able to handle this. But this often hitting, it, it's kind of like the frame time is actually not really loading up. Again, it might be very close to the fact that I'm running this game from a hard drive instead of SSD. If I wanted to run all my games from SSD, I mean, pfft, I would need like a terabyte SSD then. Which is a terrible idea. I might actually do it. I don't know, I think we're gonna have a really decent score. I think it's gonna be okay. There's no reason for it not to be okay. Again, first launch with this graphics card, so I do believe there is some additional loading that needs to be done. And I think this is the end of it. There we go. Show me the numbers. So average frames are 88. Uh, here are those nasty dips close to zero. Yeah, so minimum is zero frame, so actually it did hit some zero. Oh, that's a CPU graph. That's my bad. GPU is fine. Hmm. Score 1620. I mean, pretty much almost the same score as in Breakpoint. I wonder if that's the same engine being used here. I need to dig a bit. Hmm. Okay. CPU frames 94. That is not bad at all. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I don't want anything. Let's continue on and do a quick run with Aloy and her little iPhone or Smart Air, whatever weird thing you should get hooked up to her, and see how it looks like. I mean, I have really good uh, feeling about this. I think we're gonna see roughly around 95 frames. This, this game is not really that much demanding, to be honest. Uh, the recommended game, I think the recommended GPU for it was like 1060 or something, so 
This this card is definitely smashing that 1060 straight out the water. It uses more memory for textures than it actually needs the speed for it. Because if I would put this game on like the original settings, it would almost frame lock to 35 frames. So to be honest, I, this is not, not, not bad. This is a console game. And a lot of people try to play it on with un unlocked frames and on 30 and well, not really too much of a difference anyway. Oh, this is the place where I died about a million times. And we're getting, what, 100, 100 frames right now. Here we go. I mean, come on. You know what? Uh, we might as well just... Uh, actually, I've forgotten how to craft stuff. Oh, well. Kill her! No! You had your chance. So big fights, 90 frames, nothing really out of ordinary to be completely fair. I think we're fine. I honestly think this is actually okay. Come back here so I can hit you with a spear. The camera work, of course, is pretty terrible in this game, but what do you expect from a console title? I have no idea about the arrow drop, but the game looks great. I mean, there's nothing really worth going wrong with it. You can see them. They can't see. Oh, okay, great. I don't know, guys. I think this is a very clear-cut case of... You know... Stuff just works. And of course you need to... <coughs> Sorry about that. Kill them all as part of the game, which I'm not entirely actually focused on, because the frames matter for me a bit more. Fuck 
okay, here we are. So yeah, oh, even after all this fight, this is fine. So let's take a look at Warzone in 4040p. Okay, so here we are in Modern Warfare Warzone. So obviously, we're gonna just like uh, look around settings, what we actually have. So we have a full screen TV, obviously 2080. Screen refresh on 60, doesn't really change for us. Render resolution. Huh, why it's so small? Hold up, let's... Let's kick it up. Okay, let's do full HD first, and then we'll play around with it to see for that 4040p. Uh, custom frame rate limit, of course, there's been... Well, I mean, for those who actually care, let me just uh, take a look at it. So display is 250, menu obviously is going to be on 60, here's the custom comes from and everything else is 300 anyway. Nvidia highlights disabled, uh, reflex low latency is disabled, I don't see the point for it, I uh, don't play competitively this anyway. Uh, texture resolution is on high, everything is high, enabled, maxed out as much as I possibly can. And it's actually not that bad. So in terms of ray tracing, the ray tracing is actually disabled for now. We will basically enable it later on just to see how it goes. So let's just do a practice mode real quick and see how it on. I do believe I'm gonna be killed in about like what 20 seconds or so. As I'm really really bad at competitive multiplayer and I've played this a bit, like uh, but I would say just for the hype, not like for everything else. So let's take a look. So, so far on Full HD we're getting like 100 frames on our rendered cutscene, which is good. Can we speed this up somehow, please? So, we're using 5 gigs of video memory and 9.5 on RAM. Welcome to Warzone. Battle Royale. So, we're actually getting 100 something. That is fine, this is kind of like just explanation what we need to do and how. I think the performance of this card will be just insanely huge. Also, full HD for Warzone, it's, it's still Call of Duty, okay, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't say it's very demanding, so it's kind of pointless for us to be too concerned about the performance of this. Get on the ground late. Okay, let's get the gun. Oh, for the hub of nearby supply boxes. Enemy soldier incoming. Good work. Red dots on the minimap show the location of nearby enemies. Now hunt them down. Of course, we're playing against the bots, but so far we're getting like what 160 frames. This is not bad at all. So, so far everything on without the ray tracing is not really that bad. I would like to have a, a different gun though. Is that an MP40? No, I'm gonna uh, keep with my Uzi here for that. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anyone to shoot, but... Am I blind or was that an enemy? Probably blind. I thought I was seeing things, but I wasn't. To be honest, I actually don't see anything. Which is weird, this is a pretty popular place for people to come in. Okay. 
160. I mean, this is not bad at all. And I mean, literally, come on. Everything maxed out, and I know that people don't usually max out Warzone. They kind of go with the, the lowest settings to increase. You know, kind of like the sharpness and the contrast just to see the people better, so... All maxed out is not really that bad. Of course my monitor is only full HD while the TV, so everything does kind of look a bit locked out, I'm not gonna... Reloading. Target down! Well done. The upper right part of your HUD shows how many enemies remain. Of course, bots are not really competitive, to be honest, so me killing them is just a dumb luck. But so far, it's still smooth. Of course, we're not really getting that over 160 frames, to be honest, so if I would have 144Hz monitor... I would probably be a bit disappointed, but... For full HD, and turning some things down a bit, I think it's actually pretty feasible. Not bad at all, considering you wouldn't even get close to these frames at 980, which I've already tried. Cash can be used at buy stations to buy kill streaks and other special items. Where did that guy go? I just like how the enemies are literally just running away. So this is pretty much how it looks in play, and it's actually pretty nice. At least so far. So I think it's actually time for us to leave the game, enable the DL, well, the RTX, and see what happens then. And also we're gonna push up the resolution a bit. So let's just go for those options there. For called graphics and 2715 wait hold up where's the 40 well, I mean of course my display doesn't support it so the only thing I can do is to upscale it uh, how much I would be able to actually upscale it that's my question 1440 447 I'm not sure if this is the render I mean it's still kindish the same I would say so let's just uh, so the GPU is doing something it's applying the settings that's the frame drop so that's kind of expected where is our RTX? Ray tracing disabled. Let's enable that as well, just for good measure. Just let's stress it out a bit. I mean, this is the weirdest. This is the weirdest stuff ever. 60 frames here anyway. I'll just practice mode again. Let's see how it looks. Would we. I don't know. This is like not really an actual 4040p. I don't know what the setting is missing. I might actually check the NVIDIA, uh, maybe I can just like kind of boost it for it I mean upscale is still not really the best but 
Let's see how it goes. Kind of goes on 90 frames. I think the GPU is trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. And I'm pretty sure it would actually smash the native 4040p. Welcome to Warzone. Battle Royale. So we're still getting over 100 frames anyway. Does it look better? Mm, hard to say, I mean the reflection on the plane is the same. The view distance is the same. I don't know. Under 20 frames. Using your shoot lets you glide away from everyone else. But you'll get on the ground late. Be clear to engage all targets. Search inside the buildings for weapons and ammo. Listen for the hum of nearby supply boxes. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. I mean, so far it's actually pretty decent. It's still like kind of strange. An actual gun would be a bit more beneficial in my situation here. And of course, I don't know the map or where all the guns are actually are. Good work. Red dots on the mini map show the location of nearby enemies. Now hunt them down. I mean, it's it still feels very good though. We have some weird frame dips though. But I think that's because it just tries to understand what kind of weird resolution are we running. For. That would be my guess. Of course, this will be a different experience than in multiplayer because multiplayer also has like your network usage actually taking the CPU and stuff like that because it needs to keep up with everything. So I would say in actual online game, you will actually get less frames than this. I don't know, I think it's time for us to actually go on a bigger resolution here. So far this is pretty nice, like 100, but it do drop down to 80. Everything is still fluid though. Can't really see any stutters or jitters though. This is. Yeah, this is this is pretty okay, but again, technically it's supposed to be an upscale, but I wouldn't actually say it's an upscale. I guess this is a cheap gun or something like that. Just for fun. Yep, this is a cheat gun. Anyway, I think this is pretty, 
pretty much enough for this one. Let's leave the game, see if we can actually max it out a bit more and see if there's any difference. Right, okay, so options. Aha, uh -huh, so this would be basically the the 4K. Nah, it kind of goes over the VRAM. I mean, pff, over the VRAM, come on. Well, if we can peg the, the thing out, I mean, let's go. Absolutely, I'm not against it. Not at any point at all. Technically, this is like an upscale to 4K. Mm, and everything's still maxed down, ray tracing on. Let's see how it goes. Welcome to Warzone. Battle Royale. Even if it's below Use 60, I mean, the responsiveness is the very good. This is not that bad also, it's fully loaded up, using 10 gigs of RAM, 7.3 out of GPU. So it's absolutely not bad. Of course, would that be better on a native 2K or 4K monitor? Probably. We can keep above 60 frames that is. Using your shoot lets you glide away from everyone else. So we are still getting over 60 frames, which is actually pretty good. Sixties to 61. This is of course an upscale, but however I cannot say that it is not impressive. Even for a simple 2080, to be able to actually play in 4K... It's pretty good. 68... So, this is with everything pretty much enabled. And of course, the image would be much better than actual 4K. Performance-wise... of dips 57 but you won't actually really feel it i mean again if you want that 4k gaming experience that would be the 2080 but like 2080 ti but even for this alone that's what you could do Yeah, I think it's actually pretty... I think the verdict is that this game is actually pretty alright on this graphics card. Maybe the 4K would not be the setting I would recommend people playing it. But for 2K, like an actual native 2K, sure. I mean, it's clearly go doing well above 60 on 
even a weirdly upscaled almost kind of 4040p so it's not really that bad so here we are guys that's my verdict on it and those are the games we checked out so hey let me know what you think in the comments below and how bad is this almost oh, well i think it's a good way to end the video so thanks for watching leave a comment and let's see where we end up next with this